Is the White House pleased with the way Senator Hagel answered questions? I think Senator Hagel answered uh, the questions uh, appropriately and did a fine job. Uh, part of the, uh, I mean, if you look, if you take, take all the news clips, uh, not the whole performance, but the news clips that have dominated uh, television uh, reporting on this, uh, they have focused on a series of exchanges that I think by any estimation largely represent badgering by uh, questioners uh, over issues like uh, what was, you know, why did you disagree with me over Iraq? And, uh, you know, I, we are prepared to say that, uh, you know, then Senator Obama had a view on Iraq. It was one of the reasons why he ran for president and ran on that position and won in 2008 against Senator McCain. Uh, he vowed to end the war in Iraq uh, in a responsible way that protected our national security interests. He has done that. Uh, and he is now focused on winding down the war in Afghanistan. Now, somewhat bizarrely, given that we have 66,000 Americans in uniform in Afghanistan, senators yesterday in a hearing for the nomination of a Secretary of Defense asked very few questions about that active war. Uh, instead, they wanted to relitigate the past. And, uh, you know, that argument will continue, uh, no doubt, and will be discussed uh, by participants and then historians. Uh, we feel very comfortable about uh, where President Obama has been and is on that, and where Senator Hagel has been and is on that uh, with regards to the argument and discussion and debate about Iraq. Uh, what he's focused on, the President and Senator Hagel, is on the challenges we have today uh, around the world, our national security challenges, and they include Afghanistan, a subject which uh, got relatively uh, short shrift yesterday among the senators who uh, were concerned about relitigating the past. Uh, we believe he'll be confirmed. 